What's happened to Focus back with another reaction? Back with some more Keen. And we're returning to their 2006 album, Under the Iron Sea. And the next track, is it Leaving So Soon? Yes, Leaving So Soon. It sounds like a lament. It sounds like a surprised and saddened recognition that someone is departing. And my inclination would be to think that's not so much in the immediate situation, but a more long-term notion, the idea that you could say it when someone's getting up to leave at the, or maybe not the end of the night, the middle of the night, like, wait, leaving so soon? We're, you know, this party is going to go on for a couple more hours. Why are you departing? But given the way a lot of songs go, if I had a prediction, I would say it might relate to someone who comes into your life. It feels like this is going to be something new, something important, maybe something long-lasting, and then suddenly they're extracting themselves from your life. It's like, wait, you're leaving so soon? I saw this playing out differently. So in that regard, it sounds like it might be a sad song. Now, of course, the phrase might be used differently, or maybe it's from the perspective of the person who's doing the leaving. It's like, you know what, I'm leaving so soon because this is what I see, and what I thought this might be is not actually taking place. So I feel like it could come from either perspective, someone who's observing someone leaving so soon. And admittedly, it's not written as a question, it's written as a statement, so it feels more certain in that regard, or from the person who's doing the leaving. In any case, let's hear it. This is Keen. The tune is Leaving So Soon, and it's from the 2006 album Under the Iron Sea. <laughs> Leaving, leaving. 
their tunes are really well composed. It's something that's definitely stood out to me. The arrangement, the way in which Chaplin's voice seems to lead the other sonics. It's like where his voice goes, the rest of the instruments and overall atmosphere or structure of the track seem to follow or go. So yeah, again, great vocals, including a couple moments where he goes really high and pristine, but also very rich and full at the same time. From what I heard, it sounds like it's the person who's doing the leaving, but it certainly seems like it's bi-directional in terms of the, we both suddenly realize, like, you're treating me like I'm a weight around your neck, but I don't need you either, and you don't know me at all. And, you know, I've never, what was it? Like, I haven't been out of this town, but it sounds like he's made up his mind that he's not going to stick around anymore because the other person has changed their tune very quickly. So again, it sounds like there was a connection, a relationship, a coming together, but then from the perspective of the narrator, and maybe the other person too, there was a shift where suddenly it seemed like it wasn't going to be like what was expected or what was hoped for in that initial coming together, and then both people take on different attitudes based on that shift. And again, it sounds like the person who's really going to be leaving so soon is the narrator, and they're saying, I don't need you. If this is what it's going to be, then I'm going to set out on my own. So maybe I'm misreading some of the lines there, but that seemed to be the essence of the themes at play. But again, I love the guitar work. I love, I think there was some keyboard in there, not overwhelming or not dominating the sonics of the track, but just good accompaniment, good accentuation of the overall atmosphere of the tune. I do also like the way the drums had some, you know, like there was a ride cymbal in there, there were some little flourishes, so again, it feels like it's, as I've said with AHA, uh -huh, sometimes Depeche Mode, some other groups that I've been very fond of, either for a longer period of time or more recently, there's different elements coming together here that in a lot of cases seem to work well, not just individually, but as a whole. So another good one from Keen. I'm really enjoying this journey. Thank you again to Philip for making their larger category or catalog available. And I believe, didn't it start as a, wasn't it a, a lucky dip? I think it started as a lucky dip. I'm not sure. But either way, it wasn't a group I ever heard of before. And again, I've been told through people in the comments that you know, they drew inspiration from some different places, and I certainly hear the aha influence with some of Chaplin's vocals, so that's something that keeps coming back to me too as we go through it. In any case, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Peace.